Manjit, you've been trained in multiple styles of yoga, like uh, either Hatha, Ashtanga, Yin Yoga. Can you share a few differences in the styles that you have noticed? Any uh, differences in those specific techniques? Yeah, this is a very popular question, which uh, I get, uh, especially for people who haven't practiced much yoga. So I would say there are five to six most popular styles of asanas. Yeah, so these are the styles of asanas uh, or physical stretches uh, in the world now. So there is vinyasa yoga, vinyasa, uh, which is more rhythm yoga or flow yoga. In this, you don't stay in a position for very long. You keep flowing you keep moving from one to the other transitioning from one post to the other so if somebody would be looking at you uh, from a distance it almost looks like a dance because it's very flowy it's very dynamic and one important thing about vinyasa yoga is that it's a uh, movement synchronized with yeah. so inhale raise your hand up exhale bend forward and so on so in vinyasa there is a lot of uh, uh, importance given to synchronizing the movement with the breath to make the prana, the energy flow that much better. Yeah. So this is one style, vinyasa. Then there is ashtanga. Ashtanga is uh, seen as uh, the most masculine style of yoga because there it's more about uh, pushing the body uh, as guided by the teacher, of course, uh, going for more and more challenging positions. Yeah. Really. Uh, taking further the strength of the body, the balance of the body, the flexibility of the body. In Ashtanga Yoga, there are set sequences of asanas and they are called as series, like primary series and secondary series. So only when you can do the primary series of asanas, then the teacher uh, qualifies you to move on to the next series. So here it's a uh, it's very strong practice. It makes you sweat quite a lot. It is uh, a lot about uh, also building up uh, these yogi muscles that we call it. So people who are also into more the appearance of the body or looking good, they are also really attracted to Ashtanga Yoga. It has amazing benefits also. It gives you a lot of fire, a lot of like warrior-like feeling. Yeah. Um, then there is Iyengar Yoga, which uh, I really want to speak about. Iyengar was uh, one of the most famous teachers in our modern yoga times. Uh, he passed away a few years ago and he brought this element of alignment based yoga or correct form yoga. Yeah. So here the emphasis is not so much on doing the final pose as it as the teacher is showing us or as it looks in the picture or the video. It's more about are you doing it in the right way? Where, where are your feet? Where are your hips? Where is your back? Where are your shoulders? Because if, uh, this is very interesting, huh? that if you keep doing an incorrect misaligned pose again and again and again, you are actually starting to destroy your body. Yeah, and you might not feel it uh, soon, but later on in life, it will give you joint problems, hip problems, neck and shoulder problems and so on. So here many props are used like chairs and bolsters and belts and hanging belts. Uh, we might have seen people hanging upside down. So people who cannot sit on the floor for very long with their legs crossed, they can sit on bolsters, yeah? They can use the wall to sit with their back against the wall and so on. So it is a lot about personalizing the poses, yeah? Not everybody has to fit into one pose. Here are the props and there are different modifications of poses. And this yoga is considered very therapeutic. So if you have a lot of back pain or issues with your body, uh, Iyengar yoga is usually highly recommended. Uh, then there is Yin yoga getting popular. It is one of the youngest styles of yoga. I think it started around just 30 to 40 years ago. So this combines the more ancient Indian Hatha yoga techniques with the Chinese uh, medicine system. So it's very interesting. An American teacher uh, invented this style. And here it's the opposite. You can, you can understand it as the opposite of Ashtanga yoga. Because in Ashtanga, it's a lot about uh, being very yang, yeah? like really engaged, really stretch. 
Here, it's more about being in a pose, letting go of effort. So imagine that, yeah? You stay in a pose for a really long time, sometimes even five minutes. So, but the idea is not to engage the muscles. The idea is to let the body relax and come back to its own natural healthy state, yeah? So yin yoga is considered very grounding. It's considered very relaxing and restorative. And it's getting really popular because you know, most of us uh, in our busy lifestyle, we are used to putting in so much effort in our work, relationships, and then we don't want to go to yoga and again, like put in a lot of effort again. So evening yin yoga after office, after work, especially in the West is getting really popular online and offline. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 